Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. Thank you so much for being so patient with me while I took two and a half months off social media to prep my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program which is launching very soon. I can't believe it. I also just want to say a massive thank you to all of those beautiful souls who are on my mailing list. And over the time that I was away, I was sending out mini weekly angel guidance to them. And so many of you actually wrote back and were like, Mel, how are you going? Or Mel, this is what's been going on in my life. So thank you if you're one of those people because that truly made my day. And I really, really appreciated it. So this week is going to be from November the 19th to the 25th. Now we're already going into this week, already in Mercury retrograde. It started on Thursday and it's actually gonna continue until December the 6th. So Mercury is a planet that basically rules communication, travel and transport. So it's an opportunity to be mindful as to what's going on around that time. I've actually made a video that you can check out right here that goes more into depth. So if you're new to Weekly Angel Guidance, highly recommend that you watch that after this video. So this week we're gonna be going through three different phases of the moon. We are already starting the week out in the first quarter. This is the action phase of the moon and your affirmation is, I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So we're kind of already in, we've already gone through a couple of phases already. So we're not really starting out on the new moon. It was my intention to, but then things got a little crazy. <laughs> All right, then from Tuesday to Thursday, we move into the gibbous moon. This is asking us to trust the process as everything is working out for us. I mean everything. I mean if the shit hits the fan or you get a promotion at work, whatever it may be, whatever the contrast is, everything is working out for you. All right, then on Friday, we move into the full moon in Gemini which is zero degrees and 52 minutes of Gemini. So your affirmation for this time is I release anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. And for this time, I'll just pop on the screen right now so you can see the time zone conversions for when the full moon actually starts. So if you're in LA, this is going to be on your Thursday, November the 22nd at 9.39 p.m. Then for everyone else, this is on your Friday on November the 23rd. So New York, this is 12.39 a.m. London, 5.39 a.m. Delhi, 10.09 a.m. Brisbane, 3.39 p.m. And Auckland, 6.39 p.m. It's crazy because when I was actually going through and converting all the times, I was like, oh my God, so many of you have jumped time zones, which is crazy. I was like, oh, I missed all of that. But I hope you guys are doing well. We'll also check the weather for where you guys are around the world. Oh my God, some of you are getting snow right now, which is crazy, where it's like summer at the moment. And we I have the, the air conditioning on at the moment because it is so flipping hot. So crazy contrast, right? All right, three different phases of the moon and let's now see what comes up. I'm gonna be using the Shadowscapes Tarot, which is my favorite tarot. All right, so if you're brand new to the MK Love Fam, because I know a lot of you have been, because while I was away, we hit 20K MKL Fam around the world. How crazy is that? So if you're new, welcome, welcome. Please let me know in the comments if you're brand new and I will welcome you to the fam and I'm sure the rest of the MK Love Fam will jump in and say hello to you as well. So this is just a general reading, so just take from this what feels best for you. This could be one card, this could be all of the cards, just, you know, just get a feel for it. You'll know, because something will just like hit your heart chakra and you'll be like, oh my God, that's what I need to move forward on. Or this is what I need to do. Or I'm like, oh my God, that makes sense. And maybe if you watch it at the end of the week, you'll be able to see what actually happened, because that happens a lot to me as well. Anyway, let's get on. So I'm gonna pull a card for the action phase of the moon. So this is for Monday. So what do we need to know as we're taking inspired action towards, wow. The angels are back, they're flying out for the MK Love Fam. Ooh, we got the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card, so as you're taking action, it's quite interesting that this is coming up in Mercury Retrograde. This is really an opportunity for you to really take note that you may be missing an opportunity. And maybe this is going to become more prevalent to you as you go forth, because what's really beautiful about Mercury Retrograde is it 
especially with communication, is it shows you things that you have missed before. So when things go wrong, just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what is the lesson that I need to know in order to move forward? So this is a six of pentacles because you're kind of like in your own little world go doo, 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 and you've got all of this delicious goodness, all of these pentacles that are actually watering something that you can't see. So be very mindful that you're not having like tunnel vision. Make sure that you are like open and receptive to what is going on around you. So that's for Monday. Now let's have a look at Tuesday. This is also going to be in the gibbous mood. This is trusting the process. Wow. <laughs> On Tuesday, ooh, we move into the Six of Swords. So Tuesday, it's like, don't allow your past to dictate what has, don't allow your past to dictate how you feel today. Make this a fresh start. This is also being carried away from, um, Swords represents like those yucky situations. Um, like conflicts or this could be a situation when things didn't really go well those it's like you, you want to be carried away maybe you're removing yourself from that situation like if someone says something to you and you're like what the flip why would you say that or why is this happening you know you just be like okay i need to remove myself from this situation so tuesday really take time out just for you to meditate do your self-love practices literally anything that makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the world do that on tuesday all right, let's see what do we need to know for Wednesday. This is still in the, the Gibbous Moon. What do we need to know, angels, for Wednesday? One card for my MK Love fam. There it is. The Hierophant. This is like the giver of knowledge and wisdom. This could be someone that you're looking up to, or maybe you have become that person. The Hierophant is like, is like knowledge and it's like deep rooted. It's like you're taking advice either from people that have got the results that you actually want for yourself. This is someone that is just so wise and so grounded. It's like they're so grounded. Like look at all those tree roots. It's like their root chakra is completely balanced and unblocked and totally in alignment. I think this is a, um, I don't hear any songs yet. Just my normal stuff. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. You're trusting the process. So you guys are working. I feel like we've been working on something for so long, but maybe it actually hasn't come to fruition. I don't know, let's get clarity. What do we need to know for Thursday? And then we'll piece it all together at the end. Oh, Thursday? Thursday we got three cards. I'm just going to go with that. Oh shit. Okay. Ugh. We got a lot of swords and a major arcana. Okay. Wow. Thursday things are going to be a little bit different. Okay. Thursday we've got the nine of swords. This is like not getting involved in the conflict. This Look at his chest. This is like this marks where he has been. It's like no matter all of those painful situations that you have been to, it's like you have literally come to a place where you are sending them love or you are willing to send them love. It just depends on which, <laughs> um, which level of the emotional guidance scale are you actually at right now. And it's like, whenever I see this card, I always hear that song from Oasis. Don't look back in anger, I heard you say. You know, it's like, don't allow the past to define who you are. Thank it, send it love, because it literally made you the person that you are today. And I don't think some of you actually realize how amazing and how incredible and how talented and how beautiful you actually are. Because I got a pain in the heart chakra now. So it's like maybe self-doubt is gonna be coming up on Thursday and it's like, this is an opportunity to be like, this is where I've come. This is what I've overcome. If I can, if I have overcome that, I can literally overcome anything. Okay. Then the other one is the seven of swords. This card is kind of like about lies and deceit. So have you done something wrong or has somebody done something wrong to you? Or is like, if you have a look back to this one, is it like, is this person, um, 
like constantly doing things wrong or is this you constantly doing I don't think I feel like it's other people it kind of depends this is just a general reading so just take from this what feels truly best for you it's like okay you've had all of these wounds and it's like maybe you feel like people are not maybe you need to get ready to release these people you know you don't have to make contact with them when you release them I've made a whole video about my full moon ritual you can check that one out we're not really talking about the full moon just yet but it's kind of like preparing you for Thursday I feel like I'm getting a throat chakra pain like a lump and in my chest so it's like this is a matter to do with the heart this may be somebody that's close to you and this is making you like oh shit I really have to speak up and I have to speak my truth That's the pain that I feel with those ones. And then the other thing that came up was the tower. This is like rebuilding your foundations. This could be like, okay, maybe you actually have to release that person because they are not serving your highest good. And you know, that is so painful and difficult to do. And it's like, sometimes it's best to slowly remove yourself from a situation so it's not like too abrupt. I know I've learned that lesson the hard way. <laughs> and Something has to, it's like you're making room for who you are going to be. Like I've learned for myself as I'm preparing for coaching, I had to become a different person while I was away to prepare me for the person that I want to be because the person that I was before I started and the person that I am becoming, because um, it's a journey, I had to shake a lot of things up, like a lot of things. And you know, this new foundation is going to come because it's going to rebuild stronger. This could be some of you literally moving house. This could be some of you literally removing friends or um, decreasing or even removing the amount of time you spend with family. But this is a time where you, I hope you're not moving now because this is Mercury retrograde and I don't want you to be signing things because that's not a good time to do it during that Mercury retrograde because communication could be skewed. But really think about like, what is the pain that has been caused to you? Was there any lies and deceit? And do you actually need to start fresh? Because something is happening towards your either living situation, your work situation or friendship. Something is, is having to fall away and crumble. And sometimes this can be like a divine intervention, which can feel like the most awful thing in the whole wide world, but it is leading you to where you want to go. It's, the universe is literally bringing you what you have asked for. So you have to surrender to the process and allow what is meant to be, will be. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. All right, let's go into Friday. Friday is when we move into the full moon in Gemini. So let's see what we need to know for Friday. Angels, please. Uh, I heard, and you will see a pure imagination. It's from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wow. Wow, that was quite a big cut. Oh, wow, the Four of Swords. So this is asking, you really need to rest. You need to take care of you. She's in the coffin position, which means she needs to rest. It's like, okay, we've had a lot to do with the swords and it's like, you just, enough is enough. How do you stop that? You remove yourself from the situation. If you need to stop spending time with someone, if you actually just need to, you know, go to bed earlier, do it. Whatever you need to do to have this rest, this is exactly what you need to do on Friday for the full moon. So make this a time, well, this is Thursday if you're in LA, uh, well, Thursday night for you. So if you're in LA, maybe go to bed a little bit earlier. Um, I don't have pain. I don't have pain when I'm talking about this card. It's like those, the, it's like you've just, so whatever you need to do to either like pamper yourself, um, have a hot bath. If you're in Australia, maybe go for a swim in the ocean, cleanse your energy, put your head under the water so your crown chakra is immersed into the water. Ooh, okay. Computer just locked. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> All right, let's now have a look at Saturday. What do we need to know for Saturday, please, angels? You can see that. One card for Saturday for my MK Love Fam. 
By the way, this feels so weird talking to you on camera with like hair and makeup done <laughs> because I haven't done any of this in so long. I'm like, I didn't even know. Can I still read? <laughs> All right, Saturday. What do we need to know for Saturday? Oh, thank you very much. Ooh. And I, as that card just fell, which is temperance, which is balance and peace, I just heard, you gotta, gotta keep the faith, keep the faith. Who's that? No, Cold Chisel. Or oh, any Aussies out there, you know Cold Chisel? Um, my dad used to play that song when we were. You gotta keep the faith. So this is about balance. So this is about finding that balance. So. As we spoke about on Friday, it's like you need to do things to, you know, make yourself feel at peace and to just rest. And as you do that on Saturday, you're going to feel a new, a new found balance and peace. And you're like, okay, if I've done this and this is how I feel, then how can I incorporate more of this into my everyday life? So I feel the balance and I'm not like crazy and working super duper hard or it's like, I can't do anything, you know? Like you've got to find that balance. But I've had got to keep the peace. Keep the, is that the, let me just Google it. Uh, I don't know, got to keep the faith. Got to keep the faith. Keep the faith. Is it cold chisel? I don't even know. I'm just Googling it, just one moment. I don't know, I'll find it and We'll get back to that. All right, let's have a look at Sunday. What do we need to know for Sunday? Wow, okay. Two cards came and they literally fell on opposing spectrums. One is down and one is facing up. I'm gonna take the first one that I can see, which is the Knight of what? The Knight of Swords. Ooh, we're having a lot of swords. This is like, I don't know, every time I see swords, I always hear that song, ain't nothing gonna break my stride, ain't nothing gonna slow me down, oh no, I got to keep on moving. So it's like, okay, you gotta keep moving. Yes, you've taken time to rest because things have been really crazy, especially on Thursday, but then for, for Saturday, no, we're on Sunday now, aren't we? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. On Sunday, it's like, you've just like, okay, you've done that, you've had your rest, you've worked out where you need to go, and now you're like literally moving forward. It's like nothing is going to, don't stop me now, cause I'm having a good time. Random, the songs are back, yay. <laughs> All right, so that's the Knight of Swords, and then this is the other card that came up for Sunday. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. So this is just taking what feels best for you and literally just going with it. Don't let anybody else, including fear, any of you little fear junkies out there, don't let fear di dictate who you're meant to be with, what you're meant to do as a career. Don't allow your family to influence any of that stuff because you know deep within your soul what is truly best for you. Honestly, you literally know. All of the answers that you could possibly ever think of is very deep within your soul. You have to tap into it. You have to align your chakras. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do very shortly. So the Nine of Cups. No, I'm getting this mixed up with the Eight of Cups. Dude, hold on, hold on. This is just going with the flow. I don't know why I saw that card on this card. That's weird. This is the Nine of Cups, not the Eight of Cups. This is like just going with the flow. This is like you're not paddling upstream in your boat. You know, you're not paddling and you're not getting tired. You've literally, from Friday, you put the, the oars back in the boat and you're allowing the current to guide you to exactly where you need to be. When you're in that phase, that's when you're in alignment and that's where you manifest super flippant quick. Okay, just let's just do a quick little summary. So Monday, we go into the action phase of the moon. Well, we're already in the action phase of the moon. And that's why we really need to be very mindful about, you know, don't miss any opportunities. Then on Tuesday, it's an opportunity where you're not allowing contrast to get to you. You're just being, you're just like taking it easy. On Wednesday, we have the Hierophant and this is where you're finding knowledge. Knowledge that's maybe going to take you onto the right path, maybe you're going to discover something because now that Mercury's in retrograde, you're seeing things in a different light that maybe you didn't see before. Maybe they're being mirrored to you and the universe is like, dude, do you know you're meant to be doing this? And then you're like, oh my God, I thought I was on the right path. And it's like, okay, go this way. 
and then the moment you go that way, you start flipping out because on Thursday, it's like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. It's like you feel like a failure and you're like, oh, this is what happened to me in the past. And you start bringing up all your old emotional wounds up. And then you're like, okay, um, I can't lie to myself. Maybe somebody else is lying to you. There's something to do about lies and deceits on Thursday. And then it's like, your whole world is changing. There's something that's being prepared in the background. This is a new foundation. This could also be friends, career, home situation, money. Your, your stability and structure is totally changing with this. Then on Friday, we have the full moon in Gemini, which is an opportunity for you. Literally, you need to find peace to rest. Remember, you're in the coffin position. Then on Saturday, you need to just, you're, you're finding your balance. Now that you've taken Friday to just be like, okay, I'm not dealing with this today. I'm just taking the day off or I'm going to take myself to the beach. Or if you're in the Northern hemisphere, maybe you're gonna go ice skating. I don't know. Whatever makes you feel good, I want you to flip and do that. Also, I want you to go to bed early on um, Thursday night if you're in LA or if you're, I don't know what the LA times at PST. I don't even know. I've just got LA written on my computer. If you're on the LA time zone, then go to bed early on Thursday. And then if you're in, um, the rest of the time zones go to bed as early as you possibly can um, Then on Saturday, we're finding our balance and Sunday. It's like whoosh, we found our balance and we're just going guns Blazing and now that we're doing that we are literally in the flow everything is working out for you Just be mindful about Thursday. There's a little bit of a shift there and for Monday really think about like what are you not seeing clearly? Or what are you yeah? Because you've missed something on Monday. And then I heard, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. And so when you're in those situations, as you're going through contrast, you really need to be paying attention to your self-love practices, especially around Thursday. So prepping yourself for Wednesday, for Thursday as well. Like literally wake up an hour earlier and be like, okay. I need to prep myself because today there could be contrast. So it's just like being prepared and having that armor ready and whatever comes your way, it's like you kind of deflect it and it doesn't really hurt you as much as if you hadn't raised your vibration, if that makes sense. Woohoo! That's our week ahead, my loves. I hope you have enjoyed this weekly angel guidance. It has been a while. As you know, I'll be responding to you for the first hour that this video is live. So that's I release it at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be chatting to you from seven to eight in the comments. I cannot wait to chat to you. It feels like an eternity and I can't wait to hear any of your updates. Also, if you're new to the MK Love Fair, remember I said, write in the comments, introduce yourself. Where are you in the world? What are you struggling with? And where exactly do you wanna be? And we'll chat to you because you no, know, a lot of us are exactly the same. We're all on the same path. Everyone's going through issues and we're all healing and we're just trying to you know live our best life feel like the most beautiful people in the whole wide world and live a life of unconditional inner freedom that's exactly where we're at so yeah that's it yeah this is so weird i'm like i forgot how do i end these videos i don't even know <laughs> anyways my love thank you so much for watching and i will see you next monday i'm just doing one video a week at the moment until i find my feet because i still have a lot of prep to do um, for the course but yeah stay tuned announcements coming soon all right i love you i love you i love you goodbye